Hello there! Welcome to Tekken Cash. I hope you are doing well. So let's play some Wingspan. Alright, looks like I'm going second here. Alright, so as always, interesting start. Good wetland option here. So I have the Great Crested Grebe which allowed me to look through quite a bit of cards and that's quite good or I can use still to pick up cards I think lately the brown power from the grip is better um, for the long game um, let's look at the bonus card Ethologist, very safe choice you're almost guaranteed at least two points when you play so I'm, I, I'm quite happy with that um, the only thing is there's no um, there's no forest bird. Um, and I noticed that there's no fish in the feeders. So the still is going to be a little bit hard to play. There is a hummingbird in the feed in the in the bird tray, which allow everyone to gain the food. I wonder if my opponent is going to pick up that hummingbird here. I feel like lightly. Hummingbird is just such a versatile bird. You can play in the grassland or wetland. It's always quite good. So hoping I'll get some free food. Um, so again, no 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 fish in the feeder. So I can either force down force down the grebe or just kind of hold on to it until I find better. Um, better like when the bird feeder refresh i do quite like the star nest for the end of round goes here so the option is to keep greed and the still so i can use stills to pick up some card while i wait for the feeder or i can go with the woodcock for the guarantee forest bird here um so i'll pick up a grub play it I don't know, it would still be kind of slow to get down the grebe, so... I think I kind of like the steel and grebe, and hope that I'll find a... find a forest bird eventually. And if my opponent pick up the hummingbird, I will be happy to get some free food from my opponent as well, so... Um, I think that's not a bad start. Um, do I want to keep a rodent maybe? Since there's no rodent in the feeder, so if I pick up any bird that require rodent, I can use that. So... Yeah, I would say this is a pretty pretty solid starting hand. It all comes down to what I can draw with my, with my hands or with my cards here, so it'll be interesting to see. Alright. Yeah, birds like hummingbird is always quite interesting. Um, like I say, it's quite versatile. You can play it and use it to gain food in either grassland or wetland, which is quite powerful. But at the same time, you're sharing food with your opponent. So, um, you know, so for example, my opponent pick it up here and they play it. I can still gain some free food. So, I'm not missing out much. Um, of course, if they play the hummingbird, they will have more control over when they're gonna give out food or what food um, they're gonna they're going to pick out. But yeah, they still need to spend a turn to pick it up. So oh, looks like they're playing in the wetland. That's interesting. Um, so that usually means they don't have a wetland bird, or they're going for some kind of wetland engine here, maybe? So, both are possible. I guess I'll go with my steel here and hope that I get some good cards. Alright, the Ren. Um, I'm not too mad. It's a bird that I can play in the forest and that can help me to gain cards. The 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 toe creeper, I'm not so sure about it. 
So the, the, the tree creeper here allows you to play another bear in the forest by discarding one egg. But it, it doesn't look like I'm gonna good, have good access to eggs, so um, I, I don't think that's gonna quite work out for me. Um, the run is slow, but hopefully that might help me to win first of first enough round go here. All right, looks interesting. So they have the crow. So they're all set for food. They can use the crow to gain food. They can also use hummingbird. Um, it's kind of interesting that they did not go for um, crow hummingbird. So that would be, you know, two food. They can gain two food in the grassland. That's quite strong. So maybe that means they don't have a wetland bird. Um, so um, I guess that's a lot of things you can read into it. They play a hummingbird here to use it as a wetland bird. That means maybe they are not also setting up for like a kill deer or white store kind of situation. Um, but yeah, it's quite interesting that they didn't play both of this in the grass and we'll see how that developed. Um, but in the meantime, I think I'm just gonna, you know, maybe play my... Carolina ran and see what kind of what kind of what kind of card I can I can draw and then maybe try to get down my grief if I can to get ready for a second round to pick up cards um, I'll likely just exchange the tree creeper for extra food here so yeah um is the golden eye worth picking up that's an interesting that's an interesting one as well um, if I pick up the golden eye um, I can potentially gain quite a few eggs with my ran and grieve and I don't have to worry too much about um, laying eggs for the short term I think I'll see what 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 other card that I draw with my ran and decide so Okay, I have five turns. All right, looks like they lay eggs, but they did not exchange for food. So likely they're gonna use the hummingbird here. Um, so let's see. Um, do I want any of this? I don't think so. Golden eye, I'm keeping an eye on. All right, squacko heron. Uh, no, if I have grief, I don't need squacko heron. So I'm trying to see. I have four turns. I can lay eggs, pick up food. Play the golden eye. I think the thing is I can either get the golden eye out or I can get the grief out in, in round one. And I'd rather get the grief out to help me dig for card in round two. So um Yeah, but the eggs is kind of tempting. Let's just keep digging. Okay. Hawk. Not exactly what I needed, but it could help me with um it can help me with building a grassland for late game here, so not too mad. Hoping for a re-roll to get a fish here, that would be really helpful. Alright, I do get a food here. Alright, I'm not gonna help them to re-roll the feeder. So they let they let me go first. That means, you know, they, they don't want any food here. They're hoping I will pick up the seed so they can re-roll. So um, this is actually good for me. Now I, I get the re-roll. So alright, let's see. Not sure what they need, but I got the fish that I wanted. And then I don't think I'm gonna want the tree creeper here. Um so yeah. Um, do I want, yeah, I'll just take the grub here. I think I can play the Swinson Hawk, lay eggs, and then play the Great Crested Grebe. That's, uh, that's not a bad play. Let's see. They got the Honey Buzzard, so unlikely they are going to have eggs in cavity nest so it looks like i'm going to get the first end of round goals here so um i can be quite happy with that that's a pretty strong start you know, that's a lot of 
Four point birds for one food. Ooh. More free food. Okay. Um. Alright. So I draw a bird again. That's interesting. Um. I thought I didn't have any eggs. So did they just draw one bird at a time? Um. In any case, I'm definitely winning this end of round. Since I have some extra food, I'm kind of thinking I want to exchange um, the food for some eggs here so that um, I can build up some tempo in second round. I don't have to lay eggs again. Bef like, I don't have to lay eggs before I, I play more birds. So um, maybe one here. Yeah, that's quite good. Let's see. All right, very good. Um, yeah, I think pretty balanced start here. I mean, having a crow in the grassland is definitely strong because you just have such good control over what food you can get when you lay eggs. And the end of round goes up pretty eggs heavy. So I'm happy that at least I got the first end of round here um, because lately they are very competitive for the second and the third end of round goes. So um so they lay eggs they got a cherry that's interesting in that case i'm gonna play my creep all right so i'm really set up for um drawing card here from round two so i'm really really hoping to draw some good card all right, it looks like they got three grub from their honey buzzer. That's actually quite good. Um, round one, three grub. That's going to accelerate that game quite a bit. Um, all right, so what do we have here? We have boring owl, bunting. I quite like the boring owl for the second and the round go here. And the bunting could be kind of nice as well. So, um, so that those might be the card that I want to draw. So let's see. Um, the danger of the bunting, though, is if my opponent is running the crow, it can get stuck pretty easily. So now that I'm. I'm thinking about it. I'm kind of skeptical about the bunting. Yeah, unlikely they're gonna they're gonna use the force. So, um, if I don't get reroll the bunting, it's not as great. So I think I'm gonna draw one from the top. A pileated woodpecker. Okay, that that can kind of work. So if I got the all the star nests, I can really, um, I can really get eggs into those star nests. So I'm not mad about that. All right, let's pick up the boring out here. Um, Bunting, again, still not feeling strongly about it. All right, red star. That's a lot of strong forest bird. Uh, okay, still not what I want. All right, let's see. The woodpecker. Yeah, none of this is, is really quite good here. <laughs> um, but um, I'm thinking... Maybe the Robbie for for the second end of round go here. I don't think I really need the rest start. Um, it's between these two. Do I want the rest start or the Robbie? So one, two, three. All right, maybe I'll pick the rest star. We'll see whether... Oh, the bluebird is quite nice. If I have good access to food, I can afford to play it. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to focus on playing my woodpecker here and gain some... Put down some bird and hopefully... I can tie or win this end of round goal. That would be really nice. All right, let's see. What, what do they have? The lay eggs to gain food. No surprise. They got a fish. I wonder if they could have like a pileated, like the white stork or something. I don't think I need the heron at this point. Um, okay, no grub. That's kind of sad, but 
The Pillinated Woodpecker is not very strong here because I gained food late, late two eggs, but opponent... Oh, actually my opponent doesn't have a cavity, but hopefully they don't. Then I can gain two points. That, that could be quite strong, but we'll see. And... Yeah, with the star nest, I can also kind of work on this end of round goal without laying eggs, so that could be quite nice. Um, the feeder is not great right now. I do need grub to play my bird, but we'll see. I think I'm just going to force down my woodpecker here. Let's see. They got a hinga. All right, so they... Interesting, they really forced down the Hinga too, so they don't really have good card draw here. And I can really take advantage of that now, um, that they don't have a cavity ness. To start gaining, like, if they don't have a cavity ness, then this Woodpecker totally is worth it because I gained two eggs. Two points. All right, they pick up bird, but they they don't. They don't have a cavity nest, so I can at least gain two points here. And hopefully, they activate the hummingbird here, so I can um I can reroll the feeder like it looked like they did. Okay, bond swallow. All right, that changed everything. I mean, I have to pick up the bond swallow. That's not much choice. I get there. Um, which is good. That's really going to help me set up for the late game and with the star nest that that could be quite good for this end of round. So let's see. Okay, turkey, big point birds, not mad. God wit also again. I can use God wit to pick up cards, so I'm not mad. Woodpecker, quite nice. This is better than the red star because it only costs one food. Okay. But I think I want to go with the big point Godwit here. Um, to, to gain bonus card and also help me to draw cards. So I think having Hawk and Swallow for late game engine is quite strong. So the Swallow allow me to tug and draw. Oh, they just play this to get the cavity eggs here. But that cost them quite some food. I guess two food. And let's see. Is there any chance I can win this end of round here? I need a grub. I do get a grub. Hmm, do I want to lay eggs here? I mean, I guess I still gain one point, even though I don't want an opponent to have this one point, so I'll just do it. Um, let's see. I have three. So I only have two turns. So, so to win this end of round, I have to play the Bond Swallow, lay eggs. And then I get three, but that's not guarantee. Um, they might play another, another platform nest. Ooh, they draw a card again. Again, that could, that could mean so many things. Um, you know, either they have really good card that they they don't want to play, or they have bad cards. So one of those. Um. So they only have two turns. They either play another platform and lay eggs. Still, yeah, I think I'm just gonna play my Ban Swallow and... Lay eggs to kind of tie the end of round goal here. I can lay eggs or I can also gain food. Um, do I need the food? Trying to see here. All right, let's see. 
They play the Chipping Spare, okay, that's quite nice. So now they set up so that they get a little bit of engine going on here. The Chipping Sparrow, they can spend the eggs to exchange into food. And we're gonna tie this end of round go. So I, I can either gain food or I lay eggs to win the end of round go here. So I think I want to... Do I want to gain food? Is it better to gain food here? Gain food is one point, but laying eggs is like four or five points. And I have a chance of cycling card to hope for better card. The thing is, I'm not sure what card I want to I want to tuck here. Um, the red star, is it too late to play the red star? Um, I think maybe not because I have so many big point bears that I can play, so... I think I think I'm gonna play the red start next. So maybe the turkey, the turkey. Yeah, let let's just tuck the turkey for now. All right, egret. Not exactly what I want, but that five points was pretty good. Um, let's see. I might need to draw a card one more time, which is not bad. So, in the in the grassland, play the boring owl. Not ideal, but I think it can work. Feeder. Okay, they got one grub from their buzzard. That was not bad. All right, swan catbird. Those are both really good, good bird. Um. I think they're probably eyeing on the cat bird. It's quite nice. If I get the cat bird, um, it would be too good because then I can double on the swallow. Then I will have a really strong grassland engine. So I'll be interesting to see. Yep, they pick up both the swan and the cat bird, those big point birds. Um, reasonable. So what do I want? Um, again, I, I think, did they let me go first? I'll try not to help them reroll the feeder here. Okay. Go finch. All right. I have to pick up the go finch um, because if they have the go finch, it would be too good. So the go finch allow you to tug when your opponent tugs. So that would neutralize my one swallow. And I have to pick up cards one more turn anyway. So um, I'll just do that. Um. Even the magpie is kind of tempting. Let me see. I think the magpie might be worth it, but endless bag, not so much. Oh, Martin, look at this. That's amazing. I don't need that. Okay. Definitely going with the Martin here. So Martin Swallow, that's a really strong, um, really strong grassland here. So I have the food to play the Martin. Um, again, the question is, like, do I need to play the rest start? Um, I think it might still be worth it. So I can play the rest start, game food one time to, to get all the food that I need. Um, so that I can play the rest of the bird without doing anything else. Um, I think the European Goldfinch might come into play because of Ethologist, so the pink power could add additional two points to one of my habitat here, so... Alright, the play Catbird, Mountain Bluebird, that's quite good. Going with my plan here, hoping for a lot of grub, come on. Alright, just one. Not the greatest. I think I'm gonna have to spend one of this. Um, what do I, I guess I can pick this. Hmm. 
So they don't have a tucking bird, so my goldfinch might not may not necessarily be worth it. Even though I have the food, it's very tempting to play it. Um Okay. Lay eggs. That's quite a strong engine as well if they copy the sparrow here. Um, I mean, here's one point in the game you have to question. Is it worth it to play the Martin? Um, because the Martin... Like, how many times am I going to activate my Grassland? I think the, the Bond now is definitely worth it because it's five points at least. Um, I think I'm, I might just settle with this, um, like, Martin... Borrowing out so I unlock four eggs and have a strong grassland and then I'll play whatever remaining birds that I have um, with the food. Yeah, might be... Yeah. I have some question about the way I set up my engine here. Is it too late for me to fully utilize it? But... So I don't really have to worry this end of round goal because I'm really not winning this. But what I'm thinking is I can pick up food so that I play my Boring Owl and then... And then run my engine and then maybe play Double Bird at the end of the game here. Um... Is that quite strong? Hopefully. Hmm, let me see. Alright, I'll I'll pick up fruit one more time. Oh, do I want to? This is a good question. Um, I can play the goldfinch before I pick up food here, but do I need the goldfinch? Hmm. Let's see. Ideally, I don't want to draw a card again, so if I can use the Godwit to get card, that would be nice, so I think the safe play is to just play the Boring Owl and Lay Eggs, so say I play the Boring Owl and they have six turns, six, six turns times four eggs, like that's enough, like spot on all the spots, so I think that's the safe play here. Let's just force this down now and then decide later if I want to pick up food to play. Um, I mean, it's not exactly, but more or less enough. Enough egg spots. I may miss one or two. Um, because this is like six seven points engine if i run it for six turns it's quite a lot um so all right that playing bird here all right one two three four five six All right, definitely not playing the goldfinch here. Ooh, white stork. Um, interesting. Yeah, I don't think I can do the double play here. I was thinking even the sparrow is kind of interesting because that if I have the food to play it and um
I think if I play the sparrow, then I can avoid doing other things like gaining food or drawing card. Um, and playing the sparrow, I gain eggs and I can turn some food into eggs. Ooh, but it looks like they're giving me food. Oh no, that's the buzzard. All right, that's fine. All right, back to May. Hmm. So I have five turns, so that's 20 eggs. So I'm missing two egg spots here. Is the sparrow worth it? So if I play the sparrow, I gain four egg spot and I generate four additional eggs. I think it's just neutral. Um, But playing another brown power might come into play for the last end of round go here. So that's six. And I have seven. Um, well, maybe I play the blackbird. That's kind of interesting as well. Yeah. I can gain food and play the white stork. But again, that's like two turn for six point birds. It's not worth it for my engine here, so I'm a little bit skeptical. Uh, okay, let's see. Alright. Techless Lark, definitely not it. Uh, I think maybe the Blackbird can be useful, we'll see. I'm just doing all costs not to gain food or play bird or draw cards. So if I play the black bird, that's a zero point turn. But later, um, when I when I when I turn the fish into food or turn these two cards into into a tuck and eggs, those are four five points. So the black bird could be a five points turn. All right, looks like I'm gaining food here. I wish there were a grub, then I can play the stork easy. Um, but unfortunately, there's no. They you don't know, give me a grub here, so. I think I'm gonna play the blackbird here. I think in the end, it's gonna worth it. Um, I think. Because I can also turn some of this food into eggs, so. And hopefully that helped me to win that last in the round go here. Three more turns, so five, six. Yeah. Let's see. Yep. They really have to play quite a few birds to catch up with the end of round. And it looks like they play another when play power, so. Um, did they gain food? Let's see. Oh, they used the nut hatch to gain one food, okay. Looks like I do have the last end of round go here, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, Alright. I don't need to tuck, uh, I can tuck in the last two, so. Oh, look at that. Again, I say it again, again. Like, it's easier to hunt with one dice in wingspan. It's, it's a weird observation that I've seen time after time. Um, okay. Oh, that was satisfying. So that was five, six, seven eight nine points so quite a good turn um so what's the best way to play it so i'm gonna yeah i think i'm gonna tuck in the second to last turn but then the last one either i tuck or i draw i think it's if it, like let's see the lay eggs okay yep um that's six points Yeah, I think it's better for me to tuck here to get that two point. And then gain another two points here. Okay, let's go Hawks. All right, 
That that was a good hunt. Um. So yeah, last turn. I think either I tuck this under Blackbird or I I I tuck twice with the Swallow and Martin. It's the same point. So. So in the end, was it worth it to play the Blackbird? That's interesting. So I. Playing the back blackbird allowed me to turn two food into bird points or eggs, so that's two points, and then one tug is two points, so that's four points um, for the blackbird. Then that, so that wasn't bad. Um, it kind of helped me secure the end of round go here, so that might be worth it. Um, I only wish I. I, I kept some of my food, or I got a grub so I could have played that white stork. That 8 points would have been bigger than the blackbird, but um, it is what it is. So I can tuck here, yeah, or I can skip it. Let's see, okay. Let's do 2 points. Okay. Let's go. Oh, wow. My hawk is going strong this game. Six hun. That's quite worth it. Um, so, yeah. I don't think my score is super high in this game. But let's see. It would be down to bonus card. Oh, they have a swan coming. Um, I have a little bit more eggs and tug. They have big point birds and more bonus cards. So I think it's going to be a tight game. Um, I did win the first two end of rounds. So I have a few points lead in end of round goes. So we'll see. I, I have a feeling it's going to be a tight game. Unless they score, they score really well with bonus card. Wow, they have quite a bit of bird points. Oh, it looks like they really flop on their bonus card. They're really, with only four points um, from three bonus cards. But hopefully enough tug to bring this back in. Oh yeah, look at that. 95 points. I'll take it. Um, let's see what my opponent's got. Looks like a pretty unfortunate bonus card draw there. Bird Bender, that's quite good. Um, Parry Manager, yeah, that's a little bit unfortunate there. And Citizen Scientist, yeah, that's another tough one when you don't have Tugging Bird. Even when you have Tugging Bird, it's kind of hard. Like, look at my board. Um, only, I, I guess I could have scored um, Citizen Scientist with four bird, bear, but barely. And then, looks like they, they drew quite a bit of bird, but, um, and didn't really have a good, way, like, not the bird that they really wanted to play and no way to spend those birds. So that was kind of unfortunate. Um, but yeah, I, I, I kind of like my game, like really strong wetland start with the steel and the grebe. Um, and then the, the forest slowly came together. And I think a lot of the food like coming from my opponent hummingbird also helped me to build up my engine here. Of course, very lucky that I got the swallow and the martin that built up my grassland for late game here. So that really came together um, in the end. So um, very, very tight game overall. Um, in any case, that was the game. I hope you enjoy watching this. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.